The Night Portal, Karen's Journal, Day 1, a guest on Echo Island. Hello, I'm Karen. I call myself an intuitive advisor, but everyone else calls me psychic. This is my journal of musings, impressions, and experiences during my time on Echo Island. I hope that Sharon's paintings and our combined stories will draw you in, dear reader, and envelop you in the very essence of this enchanted island. This was my first physical visit to Echo Island, but I had visited many times through Sharon's paintings, and I mean that in the most literal sense. In my home, I am surrounded by her art and have discovered that her miniature circular paintings act as a portal for me to explore the island, both in my dreams and in my waking hours. Sharon calls her miniatures globbies because of the thick palette knife strokes and layers. And I've discovered her globby of the night sky over a hollow lake beckons me the most. So I was thrilled to be the first guest of the summer to step from the boat onto the freshly installed dock. I immediately moved towards the lake, eager to feel its cool water swirling around my legs as I waded along the shoreline, reveling in the fact that I was here among the trees, the critters of the forest, the rock, the flowers, and the green, while soaking in that blue lake vista with every fiber of my being. The now placid lake held its own deep, dark secrets, but only fragments were softly emerging into the periphery of my psyche, like a sigh. So long ago, all the players had moved on, but Hollow Lake remembered and guarded the secrets of the past in its depths. Were there mermaids here as well, I wondered, helping to keep those secrets mesmerizing with sound just as the island mesmerized with dark light and color? That thought vanished as the cabin was enticing me to come inside, where past and present flowed into one welcoming room. There was tea and a crackling fire.